stepping stone cave. Yeah, soon enough it's just gonna be completely buried in sand. Did you just kick the wire? No, no, no. I so I opened the door for it, but the 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 sand filled it up, so I couldn't even get in there. <laughs> if I think that's what you're talking about, Zen. Um, stepping stone cave. What's over here? Oh, oh. There we go. Oh, did the stream go off? I did not kick the cord. So that might have been my internet, actually. Even though OBS says I'm, I've been streaming for an hour still, so. Yeah, no wires were kicked yet. <laughs> Though it could definitely still happen. Um, Taggett says, are we playing the fossil fishing game still? Fossil fish game still. A Solomon. So, 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 <laughs> I can't pronounce these names, man. <laughs> Must have been. Twitch says you've been live for a minute. No. <laughs> Dang it. Sad. Um, Solanum. I think that's how you would say his name. I fed the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to the stepping stone cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now. Gratitude, Solon. <laughs> Solanum. It's good you're small enough to climb in through the hole at the angler fish overlook. I'm still small enough. You won't be for long. Mom and dad are tall. And so are you and I. So you and I will be tall too. Oh, is there nothing else up here? Oh. That's where I came from. Do, do, do. I don't think there's anything up there. And even the stepping stone cave is getting filled. Oh no, there's stream elements. Yep, yeah, apparently so. <laughs> I guess my uh, stream really did restart. Hello, Flash. <laughs> Congrats on first, even though <laughs> technically I've been streaming for an hour and my stream, like, crashed, I think. <laughs> Slay. Getting a lot of dog ads. Beautiful. <laughs> we got intended. <laughs> nice. Oh. Hmm. I think we're gonna have a problem here soon. You're back. Not sure why so soon though. It's because of the dogs. They freed you. Dog ads on a Capway channel seems legit. Yeah, of course. What does this say? 
uh, Solanum says, I don't know why everyone says the eye is important. They say it brought us to the solar system, but is that good? Dad told me lots of Nomaya died when our clan came here. What if the eye isn't something good? I think he might be right. <laughs> what if the eye wanted that to happen? Yeah, because I mean, when you look around, like, there's a lot of skeletons, like, everywhere. Not really seeing any right here, but... There are some later, so... Or, like, in this area. See? At least four people that died there. did it. <laughs> what does this say? Be welcomed in this place. This shrine is a space to reflect on what brought us to the star system, the signal from the eye. We observed the eye signal in our travels and followed it here to find its source. We know, uh, what we know is this. The source of the th signal, which we have chosen to call the eye of the universe, is older than the universe itself. The rest we have yet to learn. Enter, and open your mind to its possibilities. It's gonna just be one of those places where it just, like... Okay, yeah, it is, but let's read them anyway. If the eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate? Did something happen to it? Did the signal stop? Does the eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. The eye is older than the universe itself. How could something exist before its creator? It could be naturally occurring, though this doesn't answer how the the eye could be as old as it, as it is. Hmm. Did the eye deliberately call out to us by sending the signal, or did we hear the signal by coincidence? Perhaps the eye wanted to be found. Could it be sentient? Maybe it chose us. Hmm. Does the eye desire something from us? Could it need us in some way? Maybe it doesn't have to be us. We could be seeing meaning where there is none. Suppose the signal was produced incidentally. Does that mean the eye is any less important, though? So many questions, and no answers to be found. Okay, let's get out of here. Except I just realized, how am I gonna do that? Um. Well, this is a problem. Wait, right here. My way out. Oh. Okay. I got all that one area done. Hmm. 
What is this? Oh, the gravity cannon is going to be completely buried at this point. Angler fish overlook. Let's check it out. I kind of doubt the angler fish is still alive. This is amazing. Look inside this cave. How did this come to rest here? We haven't encountered others in these caves. I think this is a rare find. From what we can see, uh, Coleus and I believe the specimen must be very old indeed. Uh, imagine what might we might learn if we could examine it. We both agree it's unlikely this dry planet... Uh, we both agree it's unlikely this dry planet is this horror's place of origin, especially considering what we observed during the vessel's evacuation. Clearly, this hole is too small for it to have fit through. Hypothesis. There's another entrance to this cave. If there is, uh, Coleus and I will find it. We can't leave valuable information undiscovered. An update. We need to find a way inside quickly, Mallory, because when I returned here to search for an entrance to the cave, there were children playing on the specimen. Oh no. Oh, it is dead. It is very dead. <laughs> Be creepy if it was still alive. But yeah, how did it get down here? It kind of looks like there's a way up above. Oh. Oh no. Guys. Um. I might be trapped. <laughs> I think I'm gonna die in here. <laughs> Hello, Pete. Congrats on second. Suck it, losers. <laughs> well, we are going to die via sand suffocating us now. That's great. If it went through, I uh, allowed it, so. <laughs> you good? Yeah, I'm. I'm great. I'm just about to be inhaling sand. Don't worry. There's nowhere for me to go. Trapped in this little cave. Oh. Oh, that is. Yep. <laughs> the noise that made. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> Yummy. Yeah. The unsettling crunching sounds. Yeah. For real. Now we go back for a third time.
Awesome. And we're here. I'm gonna try to get inside as quickly as possible. I don't know if there's another way in. There might be. But I know for a fact I can get there going this way, so. Should be almost there now. Yeah. Hoping I can get down to that bottom area since I got blocked off last time. So I wasn't quick enough. Find out what this energy lab is all about. Oh. Um. Hmm. I don't know if I can get past that. <laughs> Maybe I wait for the sand to fill up to that point and then I just run across really quickly. Might be better to be up here though. Hopefully I don't die in <laughs> from sand again in here. Just a little bit more, then I should be able to get over. There we go. Okay. Now I gotta go quickly. Oh. What? <laughs> Bro, no. Don't tell me. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh wait, different way, there's a different way. Yay. <laughs> that 
was so worried I was gonna get death by sand again. Um. Hmm. Bunch of warp cores in here. What does this say? <laughs> gonna wait until the sand goes by because it's kind of loud. <laughs> Come on. All right. Pi says records show Nomaya arriving at the warp receiver on the Brittle Hollow very slightly before departing from the White Hole Station. Rami and I are devising an experiment to test if this is a real phenomenon or a simple machine error. Initial things first. Our experiment setup will first pair a small black hole core with a small white hole core to mimic the setup on the white hole station. Hypothesis. It is possible for an object to exist, exit a white hole before entering the corresponding black hole. In theory, what we want to try to reproduce is a negative amount of time elapsing between something entering the black hole and exiting the white hole at its destination. Sounds complicated. <laughs> nope. uh, let's see what this one says. An update. Our experiment here reproduced the anomaly in arrival and departure times, but Pi is unconvinced it's more than an equipment error. I hope to strengthen the effect to render it, it visible to the unaided eye. To that end, we've decided to try adding more energy. I imagine the Sunless City's energy supply should prove sufficient. All available energy has been rerouted from the city to our experiment. Remy and I are about to run a new test. Of note, Rami, uh, Yara requests that we let him know before we reroute energy to the experiment. And then Rami's hypothesis is, uh, hypothesis confirmed. I saw it. Pi saw it. This is beyond extraordinary. This changes everything. What a beautiful day for the intersection of abstract theory and practical application. Neat. They did a thing. All right. Oh, wait. There's nothing in here. There's something missing, maybe? The Southern Observatory is asking if creating a 22 minute interval is, interval is possible. That is, to have something arrive 22 minutes before it actually is sent through the warp. We've learned that the negative interval of the time between departure and arrival can be increased by adding more energy to the warp core. Problematically, adding more ener uh, the energy required to extend the interval increases at an exponential rate. Hypothesis. 
Creating a 22 minute long interval is possible, but we are currently unable to generate the necessary energy. Uh, Remy and I believe it would be necessary to invent a new method of producing energy, a thrilling but enormous undertaking. We would also require advanced warp technology able to handle such energy. Uh, we would also likely need an enormous space to fit these proposed new energy and warp technologies together. The only case location large enough would be Ash Twin. Uh, the energy is currently unavailable, you say. You're a gas, Pi. My pun was unintended, Rami. So I believe it's you who's area form. <laughs> area form. <laughs> um, drop this one. All right. The Ash Twin Project will be one of our biggest undertakings, metaphorically and physically. To build it, we need a way to travel quickly between Ash Twin and each location that holds a crucial project materials. What if we used warp towers, like the one we have on the White Hole Station, to connect Ash Twin directly to critical, each critical location? Of note, each tower on Ash Twin will warp to a different planet. My gratitude to those who noted my impressive language. Uh, yes, the sun is not a planet. I believe this has been sufficiently clarified. Kindly stop reminding me. We can design each tower to visually reflect its warp destination. The giant steep tower, for instance, could resemble a cyclone. We could model the timber hearth tower after a geyser mountain. Poke, Root, and I can begin work on this immediately in the Black Hole Forge. This will keep us busy. I'm kind of disappointed that this doesn't actually do anything. <laughs> I wonder if I can bring, like, something like this back to, uh, like, the main home planet, Timberhearth, <laughs> and if the people would even react to it at all. I don't know if that's something you can do. But I kind of want to try it out. My ship is so far away. able to slow down. <laughs>
Just slowly fading out of the solar system on accident. <laughs> So apparently there's a warp tower on Timberhearth. I wonder if I could find that. Is it just... I'm pretty sure it's just in the geyser. <laughs> I don't know where the uh, town is at. There it is. Oh, bring an artifact back to the museum. Didn't even know that's a thing I could do. can give this to uh, okay I'm going to go back to the museum with this.
Okay. Yeah, I guess uh, me taking that warp core doesn't do anything. I did get an achievement for bringing it to the museum, but... Well. Nope. I guess I'll just leave it there. Um, Alright. Get back out of here, then. One second, one of my cats wants out of my room. Okay, I'm back. I feel like the sun is getting brighter. Close due to fire damage. The old radio tower, while an important landmark, is unfortunately closed thanks to the unsanctioned flight testing of an extremely powerful model rocket. While we hope to repair the radio tower in the future, all construction efforts are currently focused on the planned museum expansion at the observatory. Sincerest apologies. Except to Slate and Mika. Jet fuel. I'm going to grab some more jet fuel and then I'm going to explore uh, over in here. Since I'm already here, I might as well. Wait. What is that noise? Oh. It was the sun, I think. The sun does explode. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I see. I was gonna say, like, the sun looked like it got a lot bigger than it was, so that would make sense. I feel like it got... It exploded so fast, though. Wait. That landed here. I need to check out what that was. Because I don't think the... Uh, it was landing on this planet before, unless I just missed it. Unless it was just this thing again, over here. Nope. I think this is different.
just in case. My ship, <laughs> my ship is impaled on a tree. Oh. <laughs> oh wait, what? <laughs> okay, I see, I see. <laughs> you know, sometimes, um, I wonder if it had anything to do with me landing too close to that space rock. That was pretty funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Was not expecting that at all. Oh man. All right. I keep forgetting, I gotta hold it for a little bit longer to actually get out of the atmosphere. Even possible for me to land on this thing? Oh. Oh goodness. Oh, okay. Um. Wow. This is a scary planet. <laughs> oh. Identified signal nearby. Oh, it's somebody. Gabro. Nice, it's you. Good to see you made it here in one piece. The first solo launch is a doozy, isn't it? Yeah, it's not my first launch, but yeah. <laughs> so hey, don't freak out or anything, but... Lately I keep, like, dying repeatedly. I don't know, it's pretty weird. What about you? Have you died lately? Or is it just me? No, it's me too. We're in a time loop. Time has been behaving unusually lately. Yeah, a time loop makes sense. Cool. You're talking like this is pretty well. <laughs> right back at you. Personally, I like new experiences, and I've never been in a time loop before. I mean, I don't think I've been in a time loop before this one. Looks like you and I are the only ones who can tell that time's gone all weird. I tried radioing 
cornfells and asking if they're dead, if they died too, but they thought I was being metaphorical. Even if I tell Hornfells about the time loop, uh, they never remember my next one. Oh, man. Oh. Bruh. Wait, no. <laughs> I was just trying to talk to Gabro. Wait. Can I still talk to him? No. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we're coming back. Have you ever watched a cyclone for so long it started to hypnotize you? Huh. I found something. Wait. Um, where should I explore? Here's something you might like. At the start of every time loop, I keep seeing a bright flash in the sky. Something must be happening up there in orbit around the planet. What else? What else? Have you seen, been to the statue island? That's what I've been calling it, seeing as it's an island where I found the glowing Nomai statue. Get it? I was on the beach on the statue island when the whole glowy business happened. By the way... It's nice. It's a nice beach for that kind of thing. I give it a solid 7 out of 10 on the Gabbro relaxation scale. <laughs> Feel like checking it out. It's one of the two islands connected by a natural rock arc. Well, mostly connected anyway. You'll see it. Alright. I hope the island getting launched didn't damage my ship too much. Well, seems fine. Let's go try to find that statue island. I feel like it's probably a bad idea to fly into that. Oh. This must be the island, because it looked like an arch. Oh. Well. <laughs> this is fine. Wait until we fall. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> I should have buckled up, I guess. <laughs> oh. Okay. That's okay. Let's see. Oh, the gravity here is really strong. Welcome to Giant's Deep, friends. I'm excited for you to meet the statues. If I'm not in my dwelling, I'm likely in my workshop below. Below the island. Okay. Wait, but if the gravity is, like, really strong here, there's probably no way I'm going to be able to get back up to my ship now. <laughs> that is unfortunate. Not sure what that does. 
Let's see. They're going to test the memory statues tonight. Flux says it could be dangerous, so we can't come. But if we didn't use the door and snuck in the other way, does anyone want to? Flux specifically told us not to do that. <laughs> I really want to see the test too, Lammy, but there's that's a huge risk to take. We probably shouldn't make Flux. Flux will let us see. Maybe Flux will let us see the test later. Sorry. Reading. Oh, I see. This planet has two times gravity. That explains why I can't fly. It's one of those statues. And the workshop entrance is broken. Um. Saw a giant jellyfish down there. See, I probably should have landed my ship here so that it doesn't get thrown around, but um, too late for that. I'm surprised that didn't kill me. <laughs> me whenever I drive? No, Zen. <laughs>
Ooh. My booster didn't go off there. Man, that is so unfortunate, the placement of that. It's not like I landed on a tree originally. Trying to see if I can jump on the wall. Maybe not. <laughs> there we go. Yes, let's go. I did it. <laughs> All right. What happens if I fly into the eye of the storm? Oop. Oh, what's this, actually? Oh, there's the really big one, too. I don't know if I can land on this. Nope. Oh. Oh. Huh. Just a little damage, no big deal. Wait. Right there. And that was all the damage, and that was it. But anyway, let's see. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, wait, here we go. Oh, I can just use these. And miss entirely. Oops. <laughs> Not what I was trying to do.
Cat's Best says, I have bad news, Avens. Hero says there was a problem with the proposed power source, so the orbital probe cannon won't be asked to fire. I hope you're pulling my locomotive limb here, Kasava. Kasava says, I wish I were, my friend, but no. They aren't certain they can fix the problem, so the orbital probe cannon on is on indefinite hiatus. That is not good for them. <laughs> Tell Proven and Malo they should return from the cannon. My spouse and I will remain at the construction yard for now. An update. Malo and I will join you and Daz. Prove it left to visit her brother. She fears the idea may feel responsible. Eighteen minutes forty six seconds ago. Long range probe successfully launched from orbital probe cannon. I thought the cannon couldn't launch. I'm not sure what that thing really does. This is it. We finished building the final orbital probe cannon module and are ready to send it into orbit around the giant steep for assembly. Our next stop will be to send Privet up to the orbital probe cannon to install the probe tracking system. <sighs> to all my friends here at the construction yard, my gratitude for your tireless work. I'd given up hope, but I truly believe this cannon may actually succeed where many other attempts have not. If I know my brother, Evans and his spouse will want to launch the will want to launch the probe with as much power as possible. I'm worried the cannon would break under the strain. Are you going gelatinous on us, love? I'm delighted by your words, but they're atypical for you. If I remember half as gooey as Malo and Evans behave together, Daz. You may launch me from the orbital probe cannon. <laughs> That's funny. Oop. Welcome back. <laughs> Glad the ads are over. Just got launched into space. <laughs> and it looks like we don't have that much time left yet again. What is that? That's just our moon. Oops. Is it? It looks different. What? Wait. Where'd it go? That doesn't make any sense. Well, okay then. <laughs> Hmm. 
Oh. We're dead. We are very dead. Time to escape. Oh no. Yeah, we're not gonna escape. <laughs> it's over. It's over, guys. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> you can't escape this floating star. Back here again. Wonder if I can track down that. Oh. Oh. I am not sure how I survived that fall. Holy. <laughs> Guess gravity on our own planet doesn't work the same. I was gonna say I want to try to track down that thing whenever it gets launched that way, but. That's probably not going to happen now. Hold on. I'm going to make sure to put on my suit so I don't die like that one time I did. <laughs> The interloper. Hold on a second. What is this? I don't know if there's anything actually on this. Wait, is this why the sun gets blown up? This little rock takes out our sun? I don't believe it. Oh. Oh, that is the sound of ice breaking. Probably gonna die staying on here, but Oh 
Oh boy, we uh, went into the sun way faster than I thought we would. Oh, we didn't actually go into the sun. Oh, there goes my ship though. <laughs> um, hmm. Um, my ship is now part of the sun's orbit, guys. Just casually gonna park it on the sun. Yeah, no big deal. And I think I'm gonna be riding this out into um uh, out of the solar system. Wait, did you guys see that? Was that a, just a snowflake, or was that something else? No, it looks like there's little particles. Huh. I don't know if it's just because I'm on this rock, but... It looked interesting. Wait, my ship's coming back! <laughs> oh no, my ship's gonna go fly right past us, I think, actually. No. <laughs> My ship. Well, there's the sun. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, wait, no. The sun's right there. Wait, what is that, then? I don't know if I can... Is this a white hole? Oh my goodness, it is. I'm gonna fly right past it, but... That's unfortunate that I flew right past it. Turn around. Use the jetpack, I can do it. <laughs> I can't do it. I'm gonna suffocate. That's gonna be how I die out here. Almost out of fuel. Wait, what is that? Oh, this giant steep? It looks so different from up here. Well, that was interesting. Now I know that the interloper is not something I want to land on. And there I go. Big dead. dead. <laughs> Can you imagine, though? You die from suffocation in outer space, just floating in the middle of nowhere, and then you wake back up. 
You gotta do it all over again. <laughs> Sounds miserable. All right, let's uh, let's explore the ruins that are on my home planet, actually. Because I didn't do that last time. After closing observation, mining site 2A wouldn't be safe for the native life dwelling in this, in some of this cave's pools. So unfortunately, we'll have to mine one of the other sites. There are a few other cave sites that look promising. My ship is gonna just slide off the side. Um, I guess I'll just place it like over here. Apparently this is a mining site. Look, how'd they get down? Yeah, there it is. for here specifically let's find out I'm still amazed by how much ore the ash twin project requires isn't this the ore for the remaining towers being built on ash twin the completed towers I've seen are quite large no the material for those towers is all being taken from ash twin the ore we're mining here will be used to craft the immensely thick protective shell that will physically seal off the chamber inside the Ash Twin's core. I'm relieved by our clan's decision to use timber horse ore only for constructing this, constructing this shell. If eventually life on this planet were to evolve to the point of advanced uh, metallurgy, I'm confident we won't have destroyed their ability to create. <coughs> If they're sealing off all entrances, I hope they've planned a core I hope they've planned a core, Dingley. I thought you had forbidden your apprentice from making puns. <laughs> How else would he improve? Oh no. <laughs> Do 
wonder how old the other civilization is compared to like ours. really trippy. Okay, um, hmm. I was there. Ah. My gratitude for the latest shipment. Uh, this ore should be the last we'll need for the Ash Twin project. This is exciting news. Can I offer you an extra set of my eyes for the final check, specifically mine? If my work here is complete, I'd like I'd be delighted to help. Uh, we'd be grateful if you would. The more eyes, the better, as the smallest flaw or opening in the shell that protects the Ash Twin project could lead to a disaster. Once we've finished the shell that seals off the center chamber, uh, we'll check to ensure there are no longer any physical entrances. Remy and I will be checking the interior, and then exterior for cracks, our final safety check. Hmm. So I guess the Ash Twin planet has like a core in the center that we can potentially go into? I mean, it's supposed to be sealed off, but I'm sure there's probably some way in. this back out. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's anything else in here. I want to say probably not. to get back to my ship. Ooh. Oh no. Oof. Surprised. I did not die there. I probably should have. <laughs> I was falling pretty quick, so. Ghost matter detected nearby. Oh, that's not good. Avoid that. How do I get out of here? <laughs> Guess I can fly over here. It's just the, um, the moon.
think I fixed everything on the ship already. Alright. I don't know if anything will happen if I fly into this, but kind of curious. I missed my chance to do that. <laughs> um. I'm not really sure which planet I need to explore. Kind of spread it out a little bit more today compared to last time where I was basically on one planet the entire stream. <laughs> but. I can land my ship in this. I mean, oh. <laughs> I probably could if I was better at flying. That's the White Hole Station. Oh, it's so far out here. I didn't remember it being that far out.
Wait. So the Ash Twin is the one that's supposed to have a protected core. But... That's one of those uh, black hole things. Same with this one, and then there's a thing for a scroll. That could have been a lot worse. Um, hmm. Looks like the sun's gonna blow up soon, but... Nice. Some time has passed since I checked in with Deepai. How are you and Ida progressing with the sun station plans? Presently, my assessment is that our plan will either fail explosively or succeed explosively. <laughs> Welcome back, then. <laughs> and everyone else. Pi, you know I don't find that funny. I'm curious. Rami thinks I'm a gas. And I don't recall requesting that you monitor this conversation, Ida. And then Ida says, I don't see what state of matter you you are has to do with this. And I don't recall supporting the Sun Station's construction, but here we are. I'm immensely interested in testing your hypothesis, Yoro. Um, that is, at least, we can agree on. Hmm. Okay. Oh, the Sun is going to blow up again soon. That's not good for me. Oh. <laughs> Let me just die via spikes. <laughs> A new way to die. <laughs> That time I actually died from the fall. <laughs> like, I'm an achievement for that, too. It was like, die within 60 seconds of waking up. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, I was looking up at that. So, if I... If I die or get looped on different planets, it changes where that, like, pod gets sent to. Kind of interesting. Bit 
Don't know how important that is, though. Yay, some things are almost all connecting. It all comes down to the Ash Twin project. Um. The central chamber inside the Ash Twin was physically sealed off by an immensely thick protective shell. The Nomai plan to construct technology capable of producing a 22 minute negative time interval on the Ash Twin. back to the brittle planet because I kind of want to see if I can actually get into that uh, black hole forge I don't think I was able to last time It was going a little too fast. Just broke the headlights a little bit. No big deal. Yeah, just a scratch. Exactly. Oh, just like that was just a scratch too. Hmm. I don't know if there's a way to actually get inside of that. I want to believe there is, but... I'm also just not certain. I 
that's right. We're at the school area right now. Um. Hmm. didn't work. <laughs> Did not work at all. Oh, oh. Okay, I got saved by that actually. Kind of. Maybe not. No, oh, come on. <laughs> We just gotta get into that section right here. Come on, oh. <laughs> there we go. can't land on top of the forge, at least it didn't seem that way. I still don't know how to get into the, um, the knowledge tower either. Cause like the path to get up to it's all broken, so. gonna die from falling. <laughs> no. Oh, there's no way I'm going to make it this time. Wait. Oh, huh. The white hole doesn't really do anything. I was kind of hoping I'd get to see something cool with it sucking it in, but nope. And I'm gonna die in space. Oops. Uh. Oops. <laughs> I got an achievement for using my oxygen as jump fuel. <laughs> it's like, use your uh, fuel supply or your oxygen supply in an ill mannered uh, way, basically. <laughs> it's funny. Hmm. 
Wait a second. I just realized. Does the sun explode every 22 minutes? There's no way. I want to see if there's anything on the top that I haven't been to yet. That's a cannon. I think I've been there. Oh. Uh, I need to move that. Almost landed straight into nest stuff that'll just kill me. Not good things. Um. end up here. That way it's safer for me. The journey here from the South Pole has been, um, I'm gonna go with Harrowing because of the, um, all the meteors, but hey, at least I made it here uncon- unconcussed and not on fire. Okay, let's see. I poked around a little. There's some sort of old Nomai path that starts across from my campsite inside the ruined building with trees growing out of it. Doesn't look like anything horrible, just stairs leading down. I can handle stairs. After I get my supplies together, I'll follow the path and see where it leads.
let's see. We get back to this guy. We've been over here. Um, Okay. And this was a tower that I didn't know how to get on the inside of. Very close. <laughs> Side of the tower, like lower, maybe. Oh, Oof. I just don't know.
Yeah, I don't know. Not sure how you're supposed to get in there. Like, I thought maybe if you used this guy, you could find a way in, but... It did not look like there was, like, any passageways or anything, so... Uh, uh. Oh, sorry about that. I am getting pretty sleepy. I think after my next step, I'm probably going to call it for tonight. Oh. Kind of at this point, I just wanted to see um, if it was every 22 minutes that the uh, sun explodes. it was 7.55 when, or around 7.55 whenever I asked that. Gotta make sure I stay alive long enough. <laughs> Try to get back up to my ship. I don't think there's any way to launch it from over there, but we'll see.
love the low crimson ad I got that burst your ears. Oh no, I'm sorry, Pelpa. Okay, well. <laughs> I'm sorry, Pelpa. <laughs> <sighs> ah. ah, sorry. So sleepy. <laughs> I don't know if the second secret moon will spawn. Big yawn. Yeah. Well, we're about to find out if my theory is correct. Oh, there it is. Wait, that is not the other. That's not the second man. That's a different planet. Oops. Hmm. Oh wait, that's the sun. Oh no. Yeah, let's not let's not teleport ourselves right into the sun. That's about to explode. Wait, so if we do, so if the time loop is every 22 minutes, wouldn't that mean that their experiment worked, technically? Because their whole goal was like to see if they could get something to teleport 22 minutes before it actually went through the portal. And so... In this case, we get sent back 22 minutes ago, before the sun exploded. It all makes sense now, I think. But I'm also sleepy, so I could just be thinking it makes sense, and it actually doesn't. <laughs> Should explode in like a minute.
Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> the big yawn for real though. Uh, yep. I was right. Every 22 minutes. Well, I figured it out, guys. <laughs> Not really. I, I haven't figured out where I need to go, but I figured out the time loop, I guess. <laughs> Pretty cool. I like that. So, now that I have that all figured out, I think I am gonna head off for the night because I am having a hard time staying awake. <laughs> I don't want to fall asleep on stream, that would be a little embarrassing if I did. I think I'm just going to end without raiding anyone, just because I'm too sleepy. <laughs> but yeah, thank you all for watching. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be playing some more Rune Factory. That should be fun. Uh, we got the fishing tournament coming up, so I'm going to try to win that. See how that goes. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys all have a good rest of your night. Thanks for uh, watching, Pelpa. Thank you, thank you. Thanks for the good stream. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, all right. Good night, everyone. Bye. Yeah. Bye, Quest. Bye. Hope you have a good rest of your night.